In this problem, we have to identify the new coordinates of triangle ABC if it is reflected across the y-axis. So we have to take this triangle right here, triangle ABC, and we have to reflect it across this line right here, which is the y-axis. So we have to flip this triangle across this line. One approach we may take to finding the new coordinates is to look at each individual point and seeing how far they are from the y-axis. For example, point A is exactly one, two, three units to the right of the y-axis. So what we can do is move three units to the left of the y-axis and make our point. So this will be the new point A. Now if you take a look at point B, we can see that it is seven units to the right of the y-axis. So we do the opposite, which is to move to the y-axis and then seven units to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is the new location of point B. And point C is three units to the right of the y-axis. So we have to move three units to the left of the y-axis and then record our point. Next, we can just connect our points together to form our reflected triangle. And now what we can do is write down what the new coordinates are. And for point A, the x value is located at negative 3, and the y value is located at negative 3 as well. For point B, the x value is located at negative 7, and the y value is negative 3. And the new coordinates of point C are negative 3 for the x value and negative 7 for the y value. So these are the new coordinates of the reflected triangle across the y-axis. Now one thing that we should observe after doing our reflection is this. Whenever you are reflecting anything across the y-axis, notice that the y values do not change at all. For example, the original point A had a y value of negative 3, as does the reflected point A. So when reflecting anything across the y-axis, the y values will not change. However, the x values for the reflected points will become opposite of what they were. Notice that the original point A had an x value of positive 3, and after reflecting it, it was negative 3. For point B, the x value was positive 7, and after reflecting it, it turned into negative 7. So one strategy that you can use in the future for reflecting anything across the y-axis is to just record the original points and then just make the x values opposite of what they are and keep the y values the same. 